Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. It is, uh, what time is it? Oh, 9.30 at night. That's why the light's a little weird. Let me see if I can stick that up. No, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Um, I have been working all day on a project that I first saw. Uh, I think my friend Cindy Utter did the first one I saw. And the second one I saw was with Natasha at Treasure, uh, at Treasure Books. So what you're about to see is everything fast forward to the end and then um, I'll come back and talk about it for a few more seconds at the last part of it. All right, so here we go.
Okay, so here is the finished scrapbook. I don't want to call it a scrapbook, but it's just a book. Um, I don't usually go for this kind of thing, but for some reason, this really appealed to me. All right, so it's put together in a haphazard way because I wanted to try something different, and I wanted it to look kind of haphazard. I was I'm very pleased with the way it turned out. Uh, so these are all leftover um, pieces of... Uh, usually they're jelly prints. Some of it is uh, scrapbook strips. Some of the jelly prints are mine. Some are photocopies of other people's that I was gifted. Um, see this one? It's not quite finished yet. And this is scrapbook paper. I tried to use the minimal amount of scrapbook paper that I could I put tabs on some of them. Some of them I glued, some of them I sewed. There's text in here. There's corrugated cardboard. There's music paper in here. There's stuff from um, paper bags with logos on them. Uh, there's just a little bit of everything in here. And a lot of this stuff is um, the inside of envelope business envelopes. Here's part of a tag where I cut it off because I want to use it as a tab. Lined paper with jelly prints. I'm going to finish putting stuff on these. I'm going to cover them up and this one needs to be done too. Although I do like that paper, but I think this needs something on the back of it that's pink. I've never made anything like this before. I find it rather appealing and very interesting. It's so outside the things that I usually do. Actually, I made one junk journal in the past, but I've never made one like this. This is scrapbook paper cut into a stamp. And this text here, as I was reading it to make sure there were no swear words in here, it's from Bridget Jones's diary, so I really did have to read this. <laughs> There's a lot of scrapbook paper, but I like the little birdies. And I still need to cover this piece up. And that's it. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do to each page, if I'm going to put um, ephemera on it or what exactly I'm going to do to it. This was a bag that I learned how to make. I don't know whose video it was I watched, but I did a video on this, on how to make these paper bags, shopping bags. I really enjoyed it. And I made a whole bunch of them where I didn't, couldn't get the eyelets in correctly. And then I never used the bag. So I thought, why am I wasting this good paper for a book cover? I'm just sitting in a drawer and calling it a bag. So there it is. There's my little scrapbook, um, my little scrapbook that was inspired by my friend Cindy Utter and by Natasha at Treasure Books. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe, and see you next time. Bye, guys.